Isiewu is one of the most requested delicacies in Nigerian restaurants. In this video, you will see how you can make some. To prepare Isiewu, we use exactly the same spices and herbs that we used for Nigerian Nkobi. I discussed some of the key ingredients in the Nigerian Nkobi video. Here, I'm just separating the brain from the rest of the Isiewu because it is used to further thicken the palm oil paste, as you will see later. The most important part in preparing isiewu is washing the meat. This should be done thoroughly with a sponge, knife and an iron sponge. The goat is usually burnt to remove the fur, so this leaves some black stains and smoky smell on the goat meat. We need to wash all that off. As usual, I cook the meat with chunks of onion because I don't want pieces of onion in the meal. And make sure you add a very small quantity of water because we want all the water to dry up by the time the meat is done. While that is cooking, slice the onion into thin rings. Cut the otazi into thin slices. Then cut half of them into tiny pieces. Once the meat is done, remove the chunks of onion. Stir till all the water has dried. Add some salt and set aside to cool down. the brain till smooth. Make the palm oil paste just like we did in Nigerian Nkwobi, making sure that you use as little potash as possible. Add all the ingredients like so and stir very well. Add the meat and mix everything very well then transfer to a stove to heat it up. In Nigerian restaurants, the special parts of the ECO such as the ears and the tongue are served in a separate plate so that the guests can check that the spare parts are complete. Garnish with the other half of the otaze and the onion rings. I hope you will enjoy making this recipe. It's very delicious. See you soon.